Now let's talk about vectors which are over here in the third quadrant, meaning they have negative x values and negative y values. And that corresponds to angles between 180 degrees and 270 degrees. Again, when we defined our original trig formulas, we had a triangle that was over here in the first quadrant, in which case we had the relationship of tangent theta was equal to the opposite over the adjacent, which is y over x. Because of our circle relationship, we can actually use that relationship in all the quadrants, although we're going to have to be a little careful about how we're defining our angles. So let's take an example problem. Let's say I have an x value of negative 5 and a y value of negative 2. To find the angle, I use that the tangent theta is equal to y over x which is equal to a value of negative 2 over negative 5, which gives me a value of positive 0 0.4. If I find the actual angle, the inverse tangent of positive 0 0.4, and plug that into my calculator, the inverse tangent of 0 0.4 gives me 21.8 degrees. Now, you're going to say, wait a minute, that is not between 180 and 270. And you're right. And it's because the calculator is getting confused. It doesn't realize that there are really two negative values in there. All it knows is there was a positive. Well, you might think, okay, it's just the way I put it into my calculator. What if I put into my calculator the inverse tangent of negative 2 divided by negative 5. Now I've explicitly told that both of those numbers are negative. Hit my equal sign, but it still gives me a positive 21.8 degrees. And the reason it's doing that is because it evaluates what's inside those parentheses before it does the inverse tangent. So even though you told them they're both negative, the calculator still doesn't know the difference. And most basic scientific calculators are this way. They're going to give you a number like 21.8, which appears to be in the first quadrant, but is not the actual angle you're looking for. So let's think a little bit more about this and what we can do. When we've got an angle that's down in the third quadrant, the angle we're working with is really somewhere over here, where we have our y value and our x value that are to the right and down. Therefore, they're both negative values. Actually, that's to the left and down. Let's not get myself confused. So the angle that this finds is actually this angle theta. So it tells me it's 21.8 degrees, but we're not measuring it from zero. Remember, we're measuring it from a value of 180 degrees. So that 180 degrees plus an extra 21.8. So my correct angle in this problem would be 180 degrees plus my 21.8 degrees. Because when the calculator does the inverse tangent, it's working with those two numbers. It's going to give you that angle measured downwards from the 180 degree axis line. And so this is going to give us a total value of 180 degrees plus 21.8 or 201 0.8 degrees. And that is your final answer if you're in the third quadrant.